In this video, we'll be taking a look at three college football games happening on September 3rd, 2022. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three college football games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from 1 betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. UDEP vs. Oklahoma The UDEP Miners will take on the Oklahoma Sooners in Oklahoma on Saturday. The Miners are coming off a 7-5 season while Oklahoma is coming of a strong but still somewhat disappointing 10-2 season where they failed to win the Big 12. UDEP lost to Texas State 31-13 in the team's season opener last week. The Sooners are 31-point favorites and the total is at 57. Oklahoma is a program in transition right now after having lost both their starting quarterbacks from last year and replacing Lincoln Riley as head coach with Brent Venables from Clemson. UDEP is 0-6 against the spread in their last six games against the Big 12 and 7-3 against the spread in their last 10 games overall, while the over is 5-1 in their last six games overall. Oklahoma is 4 4 to 0 against the spread in their last 4 home games and 1 to 4 against the spread in their last 5 games in September while the over is 4 to 1 in their last 5 non-conference games. Oklahoma will be breaking in a lot of new faces on offense, but the UDEP defense was not impressive last week against Texas State, and Oklahoma will have a capable quarterback in Gabriel. Texas State had no problem running on the Miners in week 1, with their two starting running backs averaging right around 5 yards a carry. Texas State also threw for over 8 yards a pass against against the Miners secondary. The Sooner defense should be much better this year with a new coaching staff that will emphasize that side of the ball. Oklahoma returns four key starters and plenty of players with experience, and Venables has always been able to get the most out of his players. The UDEP offense was not impressive in week one, averaging less than four yards a carry and just 6.1 yards per pass against a Texas State team that is obviously not close to the level of Oklahoma. I get that this is a boatload of points to be giving up with an Oklahoma team that is going to be learning some things at game speed like a new coaching staff while also getting acclimated with life with Dylan Gabriel under center. However, Gabriel can lead this offense as he led a juggernaut offense at UCF a ways back and he is a perfect fit for this Sooner offense. UDEP had a hard time stopping North Texas in their opener and I just shudder to think what a dynamic Oklahoma offense will do here. So Oklahoma to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. To be honest, it would not be surprising to see Oklahoma score 57 points on their own in this game. This is a Jeff Levy specialty who left Ole Miss to come to Oklahoma, but his club led the Southeastern Conference in total offense and was 12th in the nation in rushing yards last season. This offense should be fine and should really have some success against a Miners defense that does not have nearly the talent of Oklahoma. The question is if UDEP can put up enough points to ensure that this game does go past the total. One should expect Oklahoma to score somewhere around 50 to 55, so all that is needed is for the Miners to come up with 6 or 7 points. That is well within the realm of possibilities. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Brigham Young Cougars vs. South Florida The South Florida Bulls play host to the Brigham Young Cougars on Saturday afternoon from Raymond James Stadium in the season opener for both teams. The Cougars travel across the country as they hope to kick off a season filled with high expectations. For the Bulls, years of struggles now lead to a crucial 2022 campaign. These two teams squared off only a year ago when Brigham Young Cougars came away with the 8-point win, as they look to replicate that success in the rematch and grab their second win over the Bulls in the last four seasons. The Cougars are 2-6 against the spread in their last eight overall and 2-6 against the spread in their last eight non-conference games. Brigham Young Cougars is 0-4 against the spread in their last four road games. Meanwhile, the Bulls are 4-0-1 against the spread in their last five versus Independence and 4-0 against the spread in their last four at home. USF is 6-1 against the spread in their last seven on grass. USF added value at every single skill group entering the season. They made necessary transfer acquisitions 
additions and managed to keep a majority of their starting players from last season. Continuity with a mix of new faces makes for an intriguing Bulls team, and one that should theoretically fare better than the 2-10 team from last season. However, there is a wide talent gap between an up-and-coming USF and a playoff-ready Brigham Young Cougars team. Whatever you want to make of last season's matchup, it was early in the season. The Cougars are primed for another great season, their final campaign before joining up with the Big 12. Brigham Young Cougars has an excellent offensive line and will once again be great at pass protection. Tyler Algier is out of the picture, but RB Christopher Brooks should jump right in and contribute. QB Jaron Hall is expected to take another step forward as well. He'll have a slew of talented receivers at his disposal. There are a few questions on the defensive side of the ball, but all things considered Brigham Young Cougars is sitting pretty right now. USF is 2-7 straight up in its last nine games at home, and I expect that to become 2-8. So the Brigham Young Cougars to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Brigham Young Cougars already has an effective and efficient offense to build on from last year. USF added new proven skill players at receiver and quarterback but are missing their cog in the backfield, Joiner JR. If USF goes down early in this game, they will resort to airing the ball out. I expect a few big plays for scores in this game in response to a Brigham Young Cougars offensive onslaught and am confident that points will be aplenty in this game. The Cougars bring back one of the nation's most exciting quarterbacks, as well as a pair of receivers who can certainly make things interesting. For the Bulls, bringing in an experienced Power 5 quarterback should help them see their own improvement on the offensive side of things. Additionally, the over was 4-1 in Brigham Young Cougars' last five games of the 2021 season, while also 8-1 in USF's last nine home games and 4-1 in their last five September game. This one could end up being one of the highest scoring games on the Saturday slate and after combining for 62 points last season, there's no doubt that the offenses will be flying in this one. Plus, neither side has a particularly stout defense. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Troy vs. Ole Miss The number 21 Ole Miss Rebels will look to avoid a major upset when they begin their 2022 campaign against the Troy Trojans on Saturday afternoon at Bot Hemingway Stadium. Troy is coming off a 5-7 campaign, leading to the dismissal of head coach Chip Lindsey after three years in favor of former Kentucky assistant John Sumrall. Ole Miss enters year three under Lane Kiffin after going 10-3 in 2021, losing in the Sugar Bowl to Big 12 champion Baylor. This is the second ever meeting between the programs after Ole Miss won 50 51 to 21 at home back in 2013. The entire team is pretty much brand new for Kiffin as the quarterback competition isn't even settled yet. It will be interesting to see if the team can rally together and find a way to put points on the board as familiarity will be tested. But Southeastern Conference speed is Southeastern Conference speed and there is one team that has it and another that doesn't. When Watson drops back to pass in the first quarter, he's going to wish that he wasn't named the starter. Ole Miss front line will be in the backfield all afternoon. While a lot of big names are gone from the Ole Miss team that reached the Sugar Bowl last season, this is still a dangerous squad as Kiffin brought in a ton of talent through the transfer portal. Troy has been stagnant in three years since Neil Brown left, and the Trojans won't have enough firepower to keep up with the quick strike Ole Miss offense. Regardless of who the Rebels decide to play at quarterback, there is not much reason to trust the Trojans in this spot. They struggled to beat bad Sun Belt teams last year, so going up against the Southeastern Conference should only continue their struggles. So Ole Miss to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Kiffin's offense also features a hyper tempo with the Rebels ranking fourth last season with a hefty 80.5 plays per game. Troy isn't going to go nearly that fast, but will look different offensively this season with its coaching staff now coming from a spread-heavy Chad Morris system. Ole Miss does have to replace eight of its top 12 tacklers, so there could be some issues to work through in the opener even against a limited offense. If Ole Miss cohesion is unsettled, Troy should be allowed to put some points on the board. The Rebels' offense should not be slowed as Troy gave up 32 points per game in their losses last season. The over is 4-0 in the Rebels' last four games against Sun Belt competition. This game should follow suit. If there is one thing for certain, points will be put on the board with how fast the pace is here. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.